Monday! Monday! Damn it. Damn you, Monday. Why you gotta be here again? Oh, man. What is going on, everyone? Did you survive the storm? The one that, you know, went through Michigan? I mean, if you're in Michigan. If not, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But it got a little windy. People are still without power. So, you know, that's no good. But hopefully you fared the storm and everything's all right and you're back to adulting and working because it's Monday. Because that's what we do on Mondays. And tune into me. Watch my vlog. So what are we talking about today? Yeah, Dan, what, what are we gonna talk about today? Because, you know, these other vlogs have been kind of blah 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 all the rambles i'm sorry about all the rambles guys bear with me i have things that are coming in the pipe we're down the pipe some are getting stuffed in the pipe too and some big changes gonna be happening let me tell you what is the official countdown on that can't tell you for another 10 days but i can drop some kind of like hints like that these might end up to only once a week but i promise they're gonna be more entertaining more fulfilling and more in line with what's going on in my life because the vlogs will actually become vlogs and they'll be daily Ooh. So less content, but more content. Gotta create the content for the content. You don't even understand. Just so many things to do. Gonna host something special though. Tell you what. I'm really excited to tell you guys. I really, really am. I've told a few people. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. So today I'm gonna be talking about my life for sale. Again, yeah, yeah again, cause I still have a lot of life left to sell. Also decided that I am gonna divulge one of the things that are gonna be coming up. And boy are they hot, super hot. I mm, wonder what that's gonna be. And finally, I'll be talking about, you know, other updates and stuff that are going on in the lives of Dan. This guy. Yeah, because I'm Dan and you're watching the Fine and Lost Vlogs. Why do I say it like that? I don't know. Thanks for watching! Bouncing right in and let's just get it going. My life for sale at hashtag my life for sale saying screw eBay. I might still post some things on there. Doing an exclusive album. You just type in hashtag my life for sale in the search bar. And my stuff should pop up for, for the stuff that I have to actually pop up right now. I'm working on getting more up. There's a lot to get up. But today is kind of special because I'm getting rid of some of my favorite things as a kid. Like seriously. Like... Memories with these toys. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? I want to see your toys. So a lot of people know that the Terminator, Terminator 2 specifically, is one of my favorite films. And with that, I got an original, brand new. I think it's like 1992 or 94. I can't remember specifically. But this is this is awesome. This is uh this was one of my favorite toys growing up. I'm selling this bad boy for 15 bucks. I also have John Connor, which comes with his bike. And uh, this was also I remember I got this toy originally at Universal Studios in Florida. Yeah, two of my favorite toys. This one's going for 15. This one's going for 25. Or you can get them both, save some money, and spend $35. You know what I mean? So yeah, those will be up later. If you're interested, you know, shoot me a message. Also, one of my favorite comic book characters. He just looks so damn cool. Of course, I'm talking about Spawn, and uh, Spawn comes in his original packaging with the comic book. I also have the Violator that comes with the comic book as well. These are brand new, mint condition. Slight yellowing in the box, but that's it. Spawn going for $25, Violator going for $15. Get them both together for $35, save you some money. Toys! This guy is just so cool though, right? How cool is that? Also, I'm getting rid of my Polaroid cameras. It's actually a, a Polavision camera, which was like an 8mm, but it was like where you could, uh, the film would develop instantly, and it had a special projector that went with it. I never had the projector. I always had this as just a collectible vintage camera, and that's exactly what it is. It's a Polaroid Polavision land camera. Pretty sweet. It's actually got a little bit of film in there already. Whatever you want to do with that. It's just kind of cool to have and look at and be like, yeah, that's, that's how that came, you know? So yeah, coming at you, got a great deal on this bad boy. You can pick it up for $25, you know, or best offer, make me an offer. Just get it off my hands, come and pick it up. If you think that's cool, but you want something a little larger on your shelf when it comes to vintage cameras, how about the Polaroid 440 I have? This thing comes in a super sweet leather case. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that, huh? Oh yeah. You can just pop this off if you want, or leave it on because it looks cool. You know, whatever, whatever, dude. I can't remember where I picked up this bad boy app, but it was one of my favorite display items. And I'm letting it go for $25. Yours today. So, you know, come pick it up because you want it. You want to get it from me. Just 
tosses it over my shoulder. Come get your cameras. I got more vintage cameras. I'm going to be taking photos of them, getting that stuff up. I'm working as quick as I can. I also have a closet full of clothes that I got to figure out how to go through and price and do stuff. It kind of sucks. But those are the most recent items. Get those items. Help me, you know, share those items. Get them in the hands of someone that wants them. That's really would be awesome. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. So make sure you're just giving it a like. And if you haven't already, make sure that you're clicking that subscribe button on the YouTube. It really does mean a lot. I said that way too many times, but it's true. It means, it means something. Other things! So one of my newly favorite shows on YouTube has become First We Feast Hot Ones, which is hosted by Sean Evans, where the guests suffer through some hot wings and even hotter questions. Or so they say. It is a great show featuring some of my favorite people. We got TJ Miller, Seth Rogen, Gary V. Gary V and Holly Berry actually did a phenomenal job. I couldn't believe. Like, these are seriously some of the world's hottest wings. Cleaned them up. But Sean Evans is great. The show is great. I love the show so much. You know what I did? Me and my buddies decided to get together. We ordered all of season nine's hot sauces. <laughs> and boy, is that gonna be a hot one. So I know it's a little preemptive because I'd love to show you all the sauces in person in my hand, but they're not here yet. They, they're gonna take a little bit to get here actually. Maybe even more than 10 days. <laughs> but as soon as they come in, we're gonna be getting that show on the road. So this is where we need some help. Me and the small group of friends that are gonna be doing this challenge and doing it you know, for the internet's entertainment. And really just to see if I can. I mean, I am pretty, pretty interested. Don't know how well I handle hot food. I don't think the best. So this could get interesting. But we need help with questions. Questions that are good and that any one of us could answer. The roster is currently looking like it's going to be myself, Damon McKenzie, Brett Beauclair, and Elmer Hall. Suffering through some hot wings and answering your guys' questions. Basically going to put a big bucket together with everyone's questions in there. Mix them around and we'll all be taking turns answering them with each wing. And that will be Finding Lost's Hot Ones. The Lost Sauce. I'm really actually kind of nervous. Uh, and I know Brett is too. <laughs> Damon has uh, told me that he got some other hot sauce and he's going to start practicing. So that's going to be interesting. Practicing. How does that even work? How am I going to beat you in the wing challenge? <laughs> Preparation! And I figure if we eat this hot sauce every day leading up to it, I'll be the champ. The last dab is 2 million plus Scoville. This is 3.5 million. So, it's hot. It's really hot. Alright, Kate, eat it! No fucks given. Josh, eat it! Damon, eat it! Mmm, mmm. And that's how you prank your stupid ass friends. Bye. He told me that he bought this sauce the other day. It's like three and a half million Scoville units. <laughs> yeah, I'm like good with Tabasco, Frank's Red Hot, Sriracha. It's like where I like it. I mean, I do like it spicy, but I don't know if I like it hot, hot, hot. So we'll just see how it goes. Other things that are, you know, updates. Podcast part two with Eric McCrone is yet to be up because I've been busy and I haven't got to my editing, man. I need to edit. There's so much stuff that I need to edit. And I'm trying so hard. I'm also trying to figure out how to post stuff for my life for sale. Trying to go through everything. Working on the van. Working for the man. You know, trying to get money in. Doing that too. Just all the things. Also still have Elmer Hall's podcast, The Jailcast, that we got to put together. Or I got to put together. I got to do that. The audio of the podcast will soon be up. And then the video should be, you know, following along shortly after. Other update thingies is that I'm looking for a few volunteers. So if you're interested in volunteering for an anonymous project or just looking to get some more information, shoot me a message and you know we'll talk about it and I'll let you know what's coming down in the pipe. We're gonna need a couple people that are capable of manning a few cameras. I just have a few cameras that need to be manned really. As well as a couple volunteers that I'm going to need for an event that's going to be coming up in a couple months. Shh. It's going to be fun, it's going to be interesting, and I'm going to need a couple extra hands. So anyone willing, get at me, talk about it, discuss some things, because it's going to be a hell of a good time. All right, so, you know, I guess that's it. That's really about it. Nothing much really to say anymore, I guess. So I said it of the things. Hopefully everyone's ready to have a kick-ass week and, you know, get shit done, face the grind, do the thing, do you, and do it well. I'm Dan and you've been watching the Fun and Lost Vlogs. Yeah! Number 68. Set it straight, yo! Don't be late. 68. Peace, guys. I'm out of here.